uh, our church, it's a Baptist church, it's, uh, it's aimed at uh, uh, being a, a community of faith. As such, we come together and try and support each other, but also we're in, really interested in trying to meet the needs of the local community. And we sit in an area close to the centre of Sheffield, which is one of England's most deprived areas. Uh, so social economic deprivation are issues that we, we're aware of, we're, we're trying to understand those needs better and to try and meet those needs and to use our building uh, as a resource to meet those needs. When I retired, I found time to come to a church meeting. I discovered that the church was running a £20,000 deficit and I looked around and saw uh, lots of rooms which were underutilised. Uh, so that was a, an important milestone. We, we established a property group uh, which started off with the one person who'd been looking after the maintenance of the building uh, for a long time uh, and added to that all people who had sort of uh, exp expertise and uh, could help uh, and that property group has really been the uh, the vehicle for the, the church to think about not only repairing and improving the building but also how we could get it better used more extensively used we're, we're probably only using the building 20 percent of its capacity and we'd like to grow that Israq is a community centre, it's a focal point for the Somali community. When they first arrived in Sheffield in the 80s as refugees, and obviously Sheffield has a history, Somalis worked in the steel industry and retired here. And we do a number of activities. The key are advocacy for people who are struggling with English language, as not their first language, and provide advice, advocacy, and what we do is we provide women programs, young people programs, elderly, and a number of other initiatives locally that we feed into citywide. Well, the reason why we do it, it's quite important that the Somali community have cultural identity um, within a city that is very multicultural. So all the communities have their own building, their own facility and a focal point. Although we focus providing service to the Somali community, but we're inclusive. Uh, uh, for example, the building is used by many other organizations and who are non-Somalis, the local communities, church groups, and a number of other community organizations. I think as a core um, activity for any group uh, that's going to try and uh, develop its building and its services to the community is to engage with that community, to listen, to research, uh, there's published data that you can gain access to, health and well-being information. But talk to local councillors, find out what they understand to be the needs of the area. Carry on networking at every opportunity. Uh, open your building up for visitors. Get good at social marketing to, to, uh, to engage with people. And carry on talking to people. One-to-one -one conversations are often the best. And share your, share your story with other people and find a point of connection and I think that those are some of the key messages I would share anyway. I think the advice would be you have to as a community first of all come together understand the, why you've come together what is the purpose what's your vision and what do you want to achieve and I think communities can achieve a lot at first they will think coming together they don't have the resources but what they have is the human resources which no other an organization no matter what funding they have can never give you Although you'll have a bigger ambitions, I think you have to walk before you run because starting a new group is not easy. By starting a new organization, you would need resources, you need your own office, overhead costs. So I would say think twice, don't duplicate a, a service if, if it's already in existence, try and negotiate and work with an existing community organizations. And there are many. So in other words, uh, you need a lot of patience and build networks, attend seminars, conferences, even though they're not related directly to what you're trying to achieve because you never know by attending those conferences you'll acquire information that will be useful for the organization someday. <laughs>